There we go. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to another Lost Cub scene where today we shall be experiencing the adventures of Jane. Because who doesn't want to experience the adventures of Jane? So Jane, you've got this awesome bike. You've got this awesome mobility. You, uh, you certainly do a lot day to day, though it doesn't normally go highlighted. But uh, this is one of your regular outings, you know, swing by the club, make sure everything's good there, swing by the hospital, check on some of the girls you dropped off, get a look around, maybe do a little snooping and pooping. And so uh, so we're just going to get right to that hospital visit. We're going we're gonna to see what's up and see what's going on. So Jane, how do you normally go about it? Is, are we having some time in the Umbra? Do you just go straight to visit the girls first? How how are we doing this? So obviously Jane will pull up, park the bike in the designated what is known as a parking lot. <laughs> and she'll head on the first things first, she'll go see the, the girls that have been recovered. So, while well, it has been put in your blue booking, let's put it here for posterity. Most of the girls are in intensive care because, let's face it, they were on some pretty hard shit and carefully weaning them off. Like, this isn't even detox. This is a serious risk of some, some nasty backlash from severe chemical dependency. So most of the girls are in ICU. Uh, they are still able to be visited. It's just there's a much smaller window available because there's a lot more going on in the ICU. And they got to make sure that visitors stay out of the way. So it's like two people max, certain windows a day. But you can totally swing in and do it. Catch like the later end of it. And um, the other girl, the one who is actually aware enough to kind of be shepherding the ones that you all let out of that uh, that den of scum and villainy. She's doing better than they are. She's actually been moved to the psych ward. In part because, well, she does need to detox. But generally how it goes is the hospital would give them meds and whatnot and give them appointments. Which means she would need somewhere else to stay. She'd need to worry about a lot more. So she may or may not as she's confessed to you, have, um, I mean, it's not even playing up, just kind of confessed to a lot of what she's been through, the trauma involved, the fact that she's scared of certain things, probably beyond a rational degree, and has gotten herself put in the psych ward, because honestly, it means she has meals, it means she has a roof, a bed to sleep in, and she still gets treatment for her detox. So, she's up in that psych ward. But, still able to be visited. In fact, the, the window for her is a little wider, so you can go visit the other girls in the shorter window, and then uh, take a nice a little later up to the psych ward if you'd like to visit her. Yep, that is exactly what she'll do. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So, let me go back and make sure I don't forget. Do-do-do-do-do-do. There we go. Yes. So, you get to go by and check on the other girls. Most of them are eh, fairly responsive, but they don't remember a lot. They don't remember you specifically. They know you're nice. They know you come to check on them. They know that you at least must have found them and helped them get to where they could get an ambulance. But they really didn't have the kind of awareness it took to really mark you in their memory when everything was going down. Uh, Patricia has them. And she definitely appreciates the visit. So you take the elevator up, you know, head over to the psych ward. And I mean, you know the deal. It's sign in. You probably have a... I'm, I'm assuming you have some fake name you give every single time. Yes. So there's a sense of consistency. Um, so, you know, you do the little sign in sheet. You, you know, write down the name of the person you're here to visit. And inevitably, you know... One of the uh, one of the nurses does let you in, and I mean, there's a handful of rules, but honestly, it's it's all pretty common sense. And she's not exactly in with the uh, the worst of the worst. Let's grab you a little 
little picture here. Da 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 da. Where's that bitch? Oh lord, not that one. That would be most unfortunate. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that would be bad. Let's not. <laughs> What have you got in this, in this file, Katie? I have many things in these folders, Tom. Many fine things. Beautiful things. Majestic, even. But uh, they, they are not Patricia, because Patricia is not that. What they are. Yeah, she, she's definitely not the things that those people are. You know, oh, chief boy. among them being eh, unfortunate. Foreshadowing. Yes. So, let's do Epic Battle with where I've put things in my folders. Let's remember to do things like, have a second picture there. Head in. All right. And, uh, but yeah, you can open Visitor and... Again, Patricia is, is a little more sensible than the other girls, and yeah, of course she's got some stuff to process, but there we go. You you will be an ideal Patricia. That'll work just fine. There we go. There you go. There's Patricia. So, she's uh, she's still underweight. She's still working on that. She has probably bitched you about how obnoxious they are about how they feed her. Um, but, I mean, at least they're putting in the effort. She's getting the care. But yes, go up, visit the psych ward. You can have a sit-in with Patricia for a bit. They've actually got a pretty nice little common area. Um, you are allowed to go back with her to, you know, the room she's staying in. Each person has their own room in this case, because eh, there are some doubled up for the, the super, super low risk. But in her case, she's got a single room because some of her fears and whatnot involve, uh, people doing a number of things when she's not aware or able to, uh, well, really make for proper self-defense and, uh, that there, there were mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, and 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 she very violently rejected what was honestly a, a pretty innocent uh, gesture. So she gets her own room now. Uh, the the doors do have to be left open, but yeah. Is there anything in particular you want to ask her about or talk to her about? All in all, she seems pretty chill. Oh. I would ask her, where is she first? Is she in the common area or is she in her room? Uh, she'll probably initially be uh, upset in the common area. She has a, a personal bubble that is thankfully well respected. So like she sat on one end of the couch. No one else sits in the middle. So yeah, Jane will come in. Obviously, look, um, scan around eventually. Just kind of click onto her. And it's that kind of, it's almost like there's a slot. I, I say a slight wash, like some, like a, a pan across the face is like, it goes from that kind of very blank expression that Jane normally has to almost a smile. Ugh. Oh, scary. No, Patricia, I mean, she gets a head up anytime you sign it. And so she's glancing back periodically anytime she hears a lot of motion back by the entrance. And yeah, so you walk in and... I mean, it's kind of telling, because she glances right back over her shoulder and kind of gives you the the kind of quirk of a grin and a little of a wave, like, oh, hey. Yeah, and she'll come on over. Katie, before Jane even opens her fucking mouth, mm -hmm. I want to roll perception to cult sense weren't focused on her. <laughs> you can do that. That's a thing you can do. That's a, that's a, of course it is. J Jane... Safety, all right. It's yeah. not. It's not safe. I don't know. <sighs> I've got to make sure she's safe. Yeah, safety. Gotta. 
Oh, Lord. everybody! Who's gonna safe. get you a crash helmet? Jesus. Uh, oh, I Lord. can't remember the diff. Is it diff eight? It just depends on diff the situation. Oh, all right then. Well, what? Leave it with you. <laughs> you you uh, just you just put some dice there for me, buddy. There's some dice. Enjoy them. All right. Sorry. Apparently, Discord decided it needed to update for a hot second there. Let's see what we got. Uh, so yeah, I'll give you. So this is. Again, you're, you're familiar with how hospitals are. Sometimes, you know, there's some areas that are just strangely clean, and there are other areas that are really not. And, uh, well, you've seen the psych ward, buddy. So, she's not clean. Uh, no. She's not... She's not so far tainted that you've got lights and sirens going off in the back of your head. Uh, it, it, but, it's more, uh, is it that kind of like the background is taint is kind of on her? It's, yeah, or it's, is there taint clinging. coming from her? It's clinging. Yeah. Well, it's a little they... more than you might like, but it's only clinging. Yeah, you know, it, it's one of those where you know, if you roll around in mud, you're gonna get mud stuck on you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. In her case, it is not a it is not being projected or created by her. It's just uh it's clinging and it's it's probably more than your especially happy with but you've seen what lurks around in here so it can't be so surprising yeah but uh, it's just kind of like that ticks off and it's just like almost going through a checklist in her head it's just like tick done that uh, and she visibly relaxes a little bit uh she will then kind of phase back into real time how are you <laughs> feeling Oh, I mean, kind of dopey, but that's what happens when you're getting doped. So the, the kind of helpless hands raise like, meh. Well, is it a good dopey or? I mean, at this point, it's not like I'm getting a major rush or something. You just kind of get dopey and kind of sleepy and I mean look man there's there's not a lot to do in here and I mean not being able to even finish a fucking crossword puzzle or puzzle puzzle or I don't fucking know a coloring book is kind of weird like before there wasn't a lot to throw it into perspective but uh yeah it's kind of shit to stay focused on anything TV's nice though. Like glances over and it's like, yep. Yep, that's great for when you're essentially attention deficit. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, noise and pictures. Cool. So yeah, she's eh. So, well, at least it's not just static. Oh god. That would be creepy as shit. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I'd probably still watch it periodically. Yeah, I imagine with that much stuff through your system, I mean, I bet it's sometimes it's the best thing in the world for five minutes. Yeah, I mean, honest to God truth, I just keep sleeping. And I mean, at first it was nice to get a lot of sleep, and now it's just kind of killing my day, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. But uh, he thought any more about what you're gonna do after you get out of this place? Oh, pff. the fuck if I know, man. I've got nowhere to go. Uh, I mean, I kind of burned my bridges over at the college and. I guess I could get, I don't know, some sort of burger flipping job or something pretty easy, but... Well, let me put it this way, then. Have you got somewhere to go? Yes or no? Uh, nope. Nope, that's why I'm here, in this lovely hotel. Well, lucky for you, I might be able to sort something out about that. Uh, you know, if you want to save me twice, I won't even stop you. All right. I could do three times. I mean, you've already what got me and the other girls here, so 
there's that. And then, yeah, if you know a place I can crash, that'd be pretty good. Because I'm not going to lie to you, this place is kind of creepy, but I don't have anywhere else to be. So. Well, when they, you know, finish with what they're doing, I've got a place somewhere in Roanoke. It's a, it's a bar, basically. And uh, I could use some employees. But that's, you know, further down the road, just having a place to stay is better off. There's a few places, there's a bit of room upstairs. Ah, uh, okay, that checks out. For a second, I was like, am I going to just, I don't know, sleep behind the counter? No. Lazy grin. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And I mean, if it's near a bus stop, I wouldn't mind busting out of here. Still be able to come and get my meds and stuff, but I have to be able to, you know, get here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can find a bus. It's not, you know, it's in the, the town center, so it's not too far away. Doesn't sound too bad. I'm not gonna lie, this place is fucking creepy at night. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> what makes you say that? I don't know, just, I mean, I, I know where I am. Like, she kind of, like, looks around just the board in general. Like, I, I get it, but, like, creepy noises, people freaking out sometimes... You know, it's it's just fucking creepy. Yeah? Yeah, you'd think that, like, the lights outside the parking lot would, I don't know, cut the dark and help, but I don't know, it's like horror movie lighting. It's just kind of skin crawly in here. Huh. It's kind of weird. Yeah, and I mean, she kind of like reaches up, ruffles the back of her hair. It it could just be like a me thing, but it's it's fucking creepy. <laughs> Look, if there's anything I know about this kind of shit, it's that it's easy enough to blame you, put pin it on yourself. What's going on around you? Not necessarily always you. I mean, it's kind of a 50-50 shot. It's either I'm kind of jumpy, which, I mean, let's face it, make a lot of sense, or this place is just fucking creepy and nobody knows it except the people up here. It's not like we can, you know, have our phones all night and, I mean, I don't even have a phone anymore, but. You gotta do things to scroll a phone in your room. Hmm. What about doctors at night? Uh, there's... What, like... There's, I mean, there's always somebody on duty. So when people flip out, there's someone to respond to, you know? And, uh... There's, like, one or two nurses sometimes that'll come in and make sure everyone's, you know in their beds and not I don't know, hanging from the ceiling or something. Oh well, yeah, but they can't leave an entire floor unmanned kind of thing. Oh no, no. Like they're here. They just, you know, after lights out, it's, you know, a couple checks. But uh otherwise it's pretty quiet. And yeah, they're I mean, they they definitely don't help with the creep factor hearing someone just kind of creaking along and pausing every door up the hall is. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking weird. Okay, it's... I fucking pull my blanket over my head whenever they do it. It's creepy. I don't like someone looking in. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Dude, this one time, one of the nurses looked in, and I swear to God, like, the lighting from the parking lot came through just right. You know how, like, uh... You know, when you see, like, an alley cat or something and a car goes by and there's, like, that crazy backlight in their eyes, like, they do the glow thing? It was like that. I swear to God, it was like that. So, I don't look anymore. And I cover up. I don't, I don't, that's fucking weird. <laughs> and as, as, you know, Trisha says that, Jane just 
casually looks over the shoulder, looks around like nurses, huh? <laughs> nurses. Just oh, yeah, to see can... where they are. I just, I just oh, yeah. looks around. Just it's it's almost like that paranoia kicking in. It's like, huh? That's weird. Looks around. Don't like it. <laughs> Don't like it. So yeah, there's uh, you know, there's the one out outside of the ward where you do your sign in, and then you come inside through the door, and you know, there's someone at a desk there. There's kind of like the little little processing area, you know, where you saw the drawn lines on the desk. Yeah. There's the desk there. And there's always, like, someone sat there. And then there's another person kind of attentively going around making sure people have what they need, offering, you know, alternatives for people who've gotten bored with whatever activities they're working on. Uh, you can probably hear someone moving around the cafeteria. Uh, the person who's kind of being generally attentive does periodically, you know, glance back, make sure all the bedroom doors are open, come back to, you know, just check in on people, make sure everyone's okay, especially if there's multiple people in a room. But um, it's pretty free range, so you've basically got a, a couple members of staff there just kind of keeping an eye on everybody. It's not exactly a, a workforce. Then again, you get the impression if someone hits the right button, people will flood in. Yeah, no, she looks around, clocks it all. Kind of nods to herself. Huh. Yeah, no, that, that is, that's something. Oh, yeah. And of course, like, what, different people working different shifts. There's like a million people looking at your info and some of them, some of them are literally only on at night, only on during the day. I mean, at least the same people usually service the food. I don't like glance over to the cafeteria like, oh, it's nice at least. It's less weird. That's a point. I was wondering if, uh, you know, through here, like, uh, I want to guess for the day normally. Mm hmm? So, you know, a lot of guys with suits come up here looking around or, you know, like, management management are they keeping an eye on you as well or is it just nurses uh, shit. i've probably seen one or two the whole time i've been in here but it's not like they come in and i mean like sometimes the you know counselors the the shrinks will come in and like collect someone for an appointment but other than that, I mean, maybe there's been an admin guy in here once, but, uh... Have they sent you to a shrink yet, or...? Uh, yeah, they have me talking to one of the... Yeah. You know, to help with my trauma. Kind of, like, waves a hand, like, woo. Are they any good? Does it work? Does yeah, it help? I mean, I'm... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really trying. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but like I got my problems, but they're mine. I didn't choose that guy. Yeah, no, like no, it's probably not good coming from me. She just leans in that little bit. Kind of get. I, I do exactly the same thing. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I mean, I keep saying, you know, well, therapy only works if you want to try gotta open up and, and, and nope mm -mm. nope so you have enough of my info on that file in front of you I know, Deal with right? it. oh my god yeah it's creepy it's I don't know I don't I don't like it it's someone trying to kind of get in your head and I mean yeah yeah I've got some shit to work on but I'll uh I'll work on it Good. Good. Yeah. So. So, yeah. I mean, most of us have, like, therapists. There's, and there's, you know, always group therapy. Ooh. Like, does the little structure shoulders up? Like, it's so fun. Eh. Why don't you sit, all sit in a circle and talk about your feelings? We, we literally all sit in a circle. <laughs> oh, my God. We do. 
thankfully they don't make you talk, so I don't. But uh, it's weird. <laughs> like if I'm going to choose a sewing circle, I'll you know when some of the other girls are better. Talk to some of them. At least they know what's up. Well, there you go then. Good. At least you know. At least you're getting on this pretty easily. Yeah. With that kind of attitude, I don't suspect you'll be in here too much longer. No, no, I'm, I'm pretty much just here so I can give just enough for to the therapist for them to keep me in here, saying, "Yay, I'm working on coming out of my shell." She kind of like does the little arm swing, you know, the little fist pump arm swing, like, and you know, once we break through that wall, we'll make real progress. <laughs> <laughs> She's so just amazingly and flatly skeptical about the whole thing. Like, yep. Well, you know, when you do finally make some good progress and break through those walls, that offers there. I mean. Thankfully, I can sign myself out whenever. I'm not, like, compulsory or anything. But don't you want to stay for the, the wonderful group therapy sessions? Yeah, I love group therapy and nurses with creepy glowing eyes and um, spooky you know, sounds the, the, in the middle of the night. I imagine the same food every week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the... This is room. about as good as the old school cafeteria was. It's yeah. We'll quality see. stuff. Very clinical room with bare, bare things in it. Oh, yeah. Can't even bring a pen back to your room. It's, Can't uh, even bring a pen back. Nope. Can't go I... stabbing yourself for anyone else. That is not the road to recovery. Well, it's, it's, you know, putting more holes in people doesn't really help. I mean... Yeah, totally. Well, I'm pretty That's why sure. why I don't share a room anymore. <laughs> it's just a moment, just like, goes to say, stops, head tilt. <laughs> huh. <laughs> you stab somebody. I may or may not have made a really earnest attempt with something that wasn't nearly pointy or sharp enough. Yeah. What did What did you try and stab them with? Uh, we're allowed to have toothbrushes. Was it sharpened? No, no, the check. But uh, my my roomie was trying to get my attention and grabbed my elbow and. Uh, You know, now that I don't have to deal with it, I don't like people fucking grabbing me. So, um... It was kind of knee jerk. It was maybe a little bit not, but it was kind of knee jerk. And, um... I made a real... Honest attempt. Turns out, dull toothbrush is not good for stabbing. But, uh... But hey, I got in less trouble because I didn't actually stab someone. Like the single half-hearted like finger gun. So oh, me. I'd have actually been impressed if you stabbed him with a blunt toothbrush. Uh, I was really not thinking. I didn't really aim for anything. I just kind of whirled around and jabbed really hard. Gave him a nasty bruise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He bitched about it for like a week. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. All things considered, if the offer's good, um, I'll probably sign myself out real soon, because I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of like, you know, when you're a little kid and you give yourself the fucking spooks in the middle of the night and decide the only safe place is under your blanket. I get it. Trust yeah. me. I get it. You know, I like that you get it. 
and don't bullshit me on it. There's no point bullshitting. Oh, there's a lot of bullshitters out there. There is, but I don't tend to surround myself with them. And if I do, I make sure they know that they're bullshitting. And that they know that I know that they're, that they're bullshitting. I can take it. But no, if if it if it'll help, I don't know how this how it works here. But if you get you know, if it does the inverted commas, free time to leave, maybe come back and come check it out, have a look around. Yeah, I think I can sign myself up for like a day. I just have to make sure that I I can get my meds or whatever they do. I don't know. Maybe they give you like a prescription bottle. You tell me. Just kind of shrugs. I mean, I guess I'll figure it out. Well, just let me know, right? Yeah, no problem. I'm pretty sure the the nurse's desk has one of my numbers. Yeah, probably. Kind of grins. I mean, considering how many times you've signed in and out. Surprised they don't uh, give you a song and dance at the door. She grins. Oh, you uh, you visit more regularly than some of these people's families do. That's surprising. I mean, not really. When people are inconvenient, other people throw them away. That's what people do. Well, luckily, I'm not that kind of people. Yeah? Oh, no. If I'd known not people were, uh, were so much less douchebags than actual people were, I probably would have started hanging out with not people a lot sooner. Kind of <laughs> grins. It's just kind of a smile, like, <laughs> I'm not really a person. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. It hurts me. So yeah, that's uh, that's how that's been. Oh good. At least you got you're getting better. <laughs> Pretty much got better. Yeah. Yeah, but they keep fucking with the meds a little bit. I've gone through like three different kinds now. I think. Trying to make sure they get it right, I guess. I'm not sure how much of a guessing game it is, but it seems like more of one than I thought it was, so... Let me tell you, when they switch it up or, like, change the pacing, it gets uh, gets kind of weird. Yeah, I can imagine that. What, mixing meds while shit's still in your system? Oh, no, like, that's, that's one of the parts that makes it get weird, is sometimes you gotta, like, give it a minute. Like, there was one day I had to, like, go without a dose, and... God, I got so fucking sick. Jeez. I mean, they didn't want to double up, so... Well, yeah, uh, that's one way to do it. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it sucked. Sucked a uh, big floppy donkey dick, in fact. Yeah, but, I'm uh, not, not surprised. But, uh, I did okay. But it came with free knee pads and everything. Yeah, pretty much. Sweated right through my fucking blanket. It was awful. <laughs> but. Yeah, I guess as long as I've got my shit figured out. Kind of like glances at the desk like, yeah, that's right. I'm thinking nasty things about you and saying them where you can't hear. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, coming right along, you know? Yeah, just kinda make sure. Kind of hope some of the other girls would get better faster and at least have a company I could stand, you know? They're getting there, slowly. 
Yeah, well, they've been there longer than I had, so. Yeah. Then I was a bitch, so I wasn't anyone's favorite. Well, I know you're at least top three for me. Aww. Admittedly, the list is quite short, but you know. Still hey, counts. at that point, making the list counts even more, right? Well, there you go. But, uh, but yeah. Just let me know, okay? Mm-hmm. And keep yeah. yourself out of trouble, for fuck's sake. Well, I mean, there's nobody for me to stab now, so... I'm pretty sure you can find attempt. somebody. Well, I'm not, I'm not that dedicated to stabbing, Jesus. I don't, I don't know. like being grabbed. I don't know. No, I I get that, but I don't. I don't know. Like once you do it once, who knows? It's uh, it's almost as addictive as everything else I'm on. It's great. Maybe <laughs> that's part of why they keep changing the meds. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm so fucking dopey. Shit. I bet it is. It's kind of like you know, set back. Like no anger tied to it. Just yep. That's got to be the answer. That's just the way people are. They're doping me out so I won't stab anybody. Cool. I can see it. Yeah. Pretty sure they did that to me at one point as well. Oh, yeah? I vaguely remember something like that. Yeah. Oh. Well. Can't trust anyone, not even your doctor. No, especially not your doctor. All right. See, when I was uh, hospital for a little bit, pretty sure they put me on something because they could keep me still in that, that fucking bed. Ugh. I was a wanderer. Oh, God, really? Yeah, I was a wanderer that attacked vending machines. What? I thought you were talking about sleepwalking. No, no. You just viciously attacked vending machines? I was hungry. Oh, I thought a vending machine had mortally offended you in a previous life. Well, maybe. Just kind of looks around at the... Uh, I assume there's a vending machine in here somewhere. Um, there's probably one up right near the nurse's station. So they Pro can probably in the can like through the terrible. canteen doors then. So she just kind of scowls at the canteen doors. Probably. But, uh, but yeah. Maybe I'll um, tell you more about it when you get out. Huh? Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you get out. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Can I, uh, can I be a total asshole and use your phone for a second? Like, I'm not going to make a call. I just want to look something up. What do you want to look up? Uh, okay, so, I mean, I've heard it's totally fucking normal, but I started doing that thing where, like, they said you're, you know, your mind makes it all up, right? But, you know, uh, night terrors, like, when you wake up and you... You can't move and you can barely breathe and you start seeing crazy shit. Just nuts. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's not meds for that. And I don't exactly have a buddy system going, so... Thought I'd see if there was shit you could do to make it stop. Or make sure you sleep right instead of I don't know, sleeping in whatever way makes that shit happen. It's, uh... Like, leans in. It's pretty fucked up. You see some whack-ass shit. Trust me. Just, again, <laughs> leans in that little bit. I know. Oh, thank fucking God. I used Start to get him all the time. You start telling people the shit you see and they look at you like you are fucking certifiable. Oh. One of the things I used to see a lot of was uh, 
so the ceiling would go dark, black, like a void almost, and this massive jaw would come out the top of it. Holy shit. It's eyes and just this red mess of tendrils and yeah, slowly come dripping down. Just try and eat me, effectively. And every time I'd wake up as it snapped its jaws right in front of its in front of my face. God, that's fucked up. Yeah. It's just I can't I the the whole like not like I feel like even not being able to breathe I could cope with. Being able to move is the worst part. Hmm. I know they said a lot of people it feels like someone's sitting on your chest or someone's, I don't know, pushing down on you, but. And you get them every night? Uh. Just, just the last couple. Like twice now. I thought the first one was just a nightmare. Was the first one two days ago? Yeah. She just nods. Alright. Well, I'll probably be around next week if you don't, you know, sign yourself out. Oh, no. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I just, uh, yeah, oh, I'm gonna, gonna move on that. I think, as long as you know, I'm clear and shit. Maybe even if I'm not. Either way, pretty sure you'll figure it out. Yeah, I mean, I'll manage. Always fucking do. Nothing wrong with having a bit of help, either. Yeah. All right. I'll catch you later. All right. And just before she does leave, Katie. Mm-hmm. Because I, <laughs> with this question, I pretty, I, I can assume you'll guess what I'm planning on doing now. I can't fathom. Clearly. What, what, what room? Does, oh, does Jane know what room is Patricia's? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Wonderful. So yeah, no, she will. She will start heading out. You can do. And uh, what what time is it? Um, I figure we'll put it on the later side of visiting hours. So maybe like at this point, maybe five or six. You're hitting that like dusky point. Totally. Yeah. What. Jane ballsy enough to wait this long. Yeah, fuck it. She's ballsy enough to wait that long. All right. And yeah, she's going to walk out. And you know what? She'll just pick a random floor. Random floor. Whichever floor. Probably like one or two down, maybe. Fuck it. Yeah, it just hits a random button. Like, this number sounds good. Yeah, so like, what? Uh, two. D- thing, uh, two below. There you go. Boom. She will find the toilets on that floor. Pretty sure there's some on every floor. Oh, yeah. There are restrooms everywhere. Naturally, she will look across first. I'd check the room. Uh, the toilets are clear. I mean, it's it's your weird, like, uh, destructo vision, but yeah. <laughs> destructo vision. It's growth. But yes. You're, yeah, there's, you there's, the, there's nothing else hiding in the toilet with me. <laughs> uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, God. Not yet. Uh, yeah, I don't believe she's carrying anything additional that will drop randomly onto the floor. Uh, she will cross over. You can do. Would you like me to roll for it? I mean, if you want to take your time, you can take your time. Well, uh, you say take my time. I don't want someone to walk in here while I'm like halfway through it. This is true. Very well. You roll at your own risk, good sir. This is in the city. In the city. Oh, the difference is it seven in the city. Usually, yeah. 
Was an eight. Oof. 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 Still takes you a hot minute. That's... Sadly, one success is not a quick shift, but... Oh, no, but it is quicker than not going. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you take your time, it's considered a one success roll. So it's ah. like a full minute or something. I don't remember. Uh, I don't know that. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Either way, it's a cross. You know what she's going to do? Mm-hmm. She's going to fucking, fucking wait. Just going to chill in a bathroom? Pretty much. No, you can do. How long are you going to wait? Well, so... What... I'm pretty sure Patricia would have mentioned it at some point. But what time are they put away, if you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Lights out? Yeah. Um... I'm going to assume, like, 9 or 10. So I would imagine about 9-ish. Yeah, probably. So, yeah. She will uh, thoroughly explore the innards of this bathroom. All right. So you get the exciting uh, experience of chilling in the umbral reflection of a bathroom for three hours. Beautiful. Luckily, I don't have impatient, or else that would be horrifying. Or else things would be happening and they would be amazing right now. <laughs> but no. All right. Nope, you can totally wait it out. You have every ability to do so. Alright. Excuse me. Okay. And with that, she's gonna yeah, kind of get the idea that yeah, it's kind of getting to that time. Well, she's gonna poke her head out. I mean, if nothing else, um... We'll say this is one of the exterior bathrooms, so there are little, like, you know, textured windows, small ones up, you know, high on the wall, and, I mean, eventually, even in the Umbra, the sun will go down. So you've got a some sort of gauge for when it's proper dark out. And she'll check one way and another way. And, uh, All right. Being sneaky because she knows there's things in this hospital. Mm -hmm. Things that she doesn't particularly like and things that she's hopefully going to run into. <laughs> All right. Are you going to sneaky snake it? Just going to sneaky snake it upstairs. Two All floors. right. Give me your sneaky snake dice. Uh, there Deck stealth. Holy shit. Jane's pretty good at this. I forgot. Not that good, though. <laughs> yeah, one success is better than none. Very, very consistent, this scene. A seven and a one. <sighs> you got a nine? It's fine. Yeah, but there's always a seven and a one. Just, just saying. Just saying. Nothing wrong with a little consistency, buddy. That's when it gets me fucking killed. Well, then, yes, in those cases, it is bad. All right. Let's do a little die roll. Beautiful. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty uneventful. The downside of the Ember is that unless you want to play, uh, play, do a song and dance with a with a pattern spider, you need to take the stairs, which is a bitch. Yep, she's more than happy to take the stairs. Yep. You get to go up two flights of stairs, get to the top, like... <sighs> but you're there. It's not the end of the world. Just a bitch to run up two flights of stairs. So, uh, where are you going, friendo? Buddy going, going towards that psych ward again. You don't say. I do say. Madness. All right. So, yeah, you can head down the hall. Go uh, do some, some late night visiting. Yes, and if I remember correctly, if, you have to tell me, because I can't remember 
the pass that I stole way back when from the guy in the morgue, mm -hmm. I managed to convince the pattern spider that, that I could use it up here, right? You, I believe you fucking lucked out and for some reason it worked up here. <laughs> Is that still the case as she swipes it on the door? <laughs> yeah, you come in and you give it a swipe and it's like, oh. <laughs> Aha. Aha! I'm good at this. <laughs> like, You're fuck you. Nervous. All right. Let's see here. Oh, that's hardening. All right. So yes, yes, you can absolutely go into the ward, which let's uh, make sure I've got my folder straight. Just a real, uh, where'd it go? It's a real heartening place, really. It's, uh, it's fucking oh, lovely. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... You all feel right at home. Yep. You swipe your way in. And should I kind of look around, scanning the area? Let's see what kind of stuff you're going to walk into, buddy. Let's play a little game. Ooh, it's a fun game. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, so I mean, you uh, you swipe the card, and you're like, "Fuck yeah, I'm the shit." You gotta slide in there, and you see your usual spider buddies. Go ahead and alertness me, and we'll see uh, how fun this gets. That is three successes. Beautiful. Oh, it's a shame all these are labeled. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Un momento. Let's give you a friend. Is he a friend, though? I mean, friend is probably a little bit of a generous term. I'm gonna get really technical. Ooh, I know what I want. Where is it? Hold on. Oh, that's... That's that good stuff. Not the one I want. No, not that one. Let's use this one. This one's way better. That seems fine. So yeah, it's one of those things you slide in, alright? Got your little your little spoders, check. Got your uh, creepy movement over in the... Oh, that is unfortunate. That is made of limbs. Is that a head? That might be a head bowed down at the front. It's really hard to tell. Ooh, that is... Ooh. <laughs> and if you like, I will let you take the initial moment where you spot the thing to try to uh, retuck yourself in stealth. <laughs> yes. I was about to say, is there a thing where I'm like, I cannot be seen by this, please? <laughs> there is. You can essentially uh, take a little bit of a duck. Dive it to roll stealth again? Yes. Yes, I would. 
just been rolled with three and six. With three successes. How beautiful. All right. Let's see how it's doing there because this is not its strong pool. <laughs> no. You, you for the moment are just fine. Basically, you, uh, you slide in through that electric door. You're like, yep, that worked. I am the hottest shit in the world. And you, like, take a, a step in, you're pretty good, and you see the movement, and thankfully, before you've even properly processed what it is, you just kind of slide to the left and break line of sight. Just put the corner of, like, the hall to the, uh, to the public room. Like, just slide that between the two of you so you have a, a chance to kind of uh, shuffle your way this way, shuffle your way that way. It doesn't react. And That's is it, nice. More importantly though, Katie, is it blocking my path towards Patricia's room? Hmm. Not literally physically, but depending on how close you want to go by, eh. I gotta get past it. Yeah. It seems to be plucking at things. Um, you can even hear it still doing it. It's it's plucking at the furniture and whatnot as if it's maybe looking for something. Well, she's gonna uh, uh, peek around the corner a little bit, like poking the one eye out. Mm-hmm. What it, so it's poking at the furniture. What exactly does it look like it's doing with it? Like just prodding it or like... So you watch it. And there's a, there's a lot of arms and a lot of hands. And most of what it's doing is... Excuse me. Initially kind of reaching, grasping, looking for something almost. It will eventually like... Like these, uh, these beds that are admittedly not normally what's in this room. It'll kind of like swipe a hand down the blanket. It'll prod at it, kind of nudge the mattress up. Eventually, get seem to get frustrated, and as it's turning to another one, one of the hands snaps out, grabs the frame, and flips it up on the side. Another one will be pawing lightly at the ground, like fingers kind of fiddling and twiddling as if it's looking for something. And Jane, you know, watching it for a bit, she'll look around again. Is this the only thing that seems to be here? It, it Yeah, besides, like, the spiders. No, yeah. I'll, yeah. It's the main thing that's here. Yeah, today, it's, it's today, the only it real uh, attention-getty thing at the moment, yeah. Alright, wonderful. Fuck it. Jane ain't afraid. She's a fucking shadow lord. Ooh. Now, this is going to be hilarious. So I'm going to try and sneak up on it, Katie. But as Jane has turned the corner, <laughs> I'm going to shift to Krynos. <laughs> I'm going to try and sneak up on it. All right, buddy. Are you uh, spending a rage to shift, or are you just taking your time as you come around? I mean, I'm guessing she'd have the time. You would. To just kind of, like, step out and be like, all right, I'm slowly tiptoe getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> You can gradual your way to Krynos. On the bright side, it doesn't seem very sound responsive. It's, I mean, obviously very tactile. And, well, if that's a head, it's certainly not pointed to where you, it could do it a lot of good. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on this guy. Because even I can't see what's going on right now. There we go. So now the question being, 
Would you like me to roll stealth to try and approach this thing? I'll let you keep your last roll if you like. Three. I'll take. I'll take three. I'll. I'll do me. That's. That's a nice, ha- hefty three successes. Yes, it is. The three extra dice on your attack. If you're going to be a crazy person, that's exactly what I'm doing. You be a crazy person, buddy. It's what I do best. And yeah, she's going to come right in. I'll let you have the free shot. Get them ambush dice. Get it. Jeez, they didn't fucking help me very much. One success. I mean, one's all it takes, but let's not forget you did sneak up on it, so that's two more successes. You yeah. said you're going for the rear. That's negative two diff. Oh. forgot about that. Uh-huh. I'm here for you. Uh-huh. So three. Uh-huh. All right. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Strength seven. It's two for claws. It's nine. It's two more. It's eleven. Dimaggio. One, two, three, four, five. Ag. Da-na-na. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mm, let's see. This thing's specialty is about like that. So we will give it the smaller silk bowl. It only soaks one. So yeah, she tiptoes, which looks probably fairly hilarious <laughs> in the way she's doing it, but it's effective. Very effective because shoe become pad and pad is very silent on this kind of floor. Yeah, uh, and as she gets closer, it's just that one big swooping uppercut as it just goes up the back and rakes along the back of it. Oh yeah, and in response, of course, I mean the claws bite and rake up the back. They kind of click against those weird half visible, kind of crystalline growths that seem to be piercing through it. But uh, you do a good bit of damage, and meanwhile, it. Was it's been hunched this whole time. It finally not only straightens but writhes its way so that the back is bent in the other direction. Just bows it back with some kind of unholy, like raspy noise. It doesn't seem to have a fully formed head going there. And oh, you can see that. And who that is. Oh, you know, a tongue would have helped with that screaming thing you're trying to do there, pal. Oh, that's more of just a gaping hole in your roughly face-shaped... Oh. This is where we roll initiative. Because he got your free shot. Yes. Luckily, Jane's initiative roll is pretty good. 17. It really is. All right, you're going first. Aha! Guess what? Meet my other hand. With less dice. Considerably less dice. But more successes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's basically by flipping itself over, you're not getting the rear anymore. No, but. <laughs> in a weird way, but you still got three successes there. Unless you got a uh, No, I know. It's just three. It's still hilarious. And seven, I'll have one again. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five ag again. Jeez. That's all Rude. Ten. Rude. All right. It took three of it this time. Uh, two gets through. Yeah, she just comes, get up, through? just comes up again with one going up this time. The, the, the right hand comes straight down. All right. What this thing is going to do is it essentially reverses itself just by changing its posture to the other direction, which is fucking creepy because it's essentially fighting you like with the feet splayed and braced backwards. But all those arms are coming into play as it reaches 
because it wants to give you a hug. No. If you would like to spend rage, you can. Don't oh, yes, I forgot about that. that. I totally fucking forgot. I would like to spend some rage because that's the thing that I can do. It is the thing you can do. You even entered combat. You've got a whole extra point. Oh, that ain't I cool? You're pretty, pretty fucking cool. Let me double check your shit real fast because. All right, standard there, Drage. So it's going to try to give you a hug. And this is what it excels at. You may, in fact, doge. Yes, you know, I'll, I'll spend, I'll use that rage to dodge. All right, brace your booty. One, two, three, four. It's a good thing I'm trying to dodge this. Hold on a second. Athletics is that. No, it's that because I have an extra die. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Ty goes to the defender. Dude, <laughs> the, it whips over and reaches out with all those hands. And they are. It's funny because they're kind of slender fingered, but the strength there is terrifying. And it starts grasping and pulling. You've just got just enough in you to kind of slide out of the grip before it can really, you know, set in the lock. So you just kind of slither out of the hands. <laughs> oh yeah. It's uh it's grabby. I mean, and you feel like the one that managed to cling a hold the longest was trying to drag you into it. <laughs> yeah, that's not nice. Kill it. Kill it with fire. You may, in fact, attempt to kill it with fire. You uh, are top of the initiative. Ah, it does not have rage. Even better. Either that, or it is a terrible AI and does not choose to spend it. <laughs> that would be a pretty bad AI. Ah, wow. Oh, dear. All right, I got a success. It's not a botch. It is not a botch. And I spend the just... rage. The, the slithering out process kind of threw uh, your, uh, uh, threw your uh, groove uh, off. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Why is it slimy? It's, uh, it's, be, uh. it's almost like being slimy would be counterintuitive to grappling. Madness. Are you just going to try again? It just it just wants a hug. Come here. Ooh. Four again. Oh, God. Yo, fuck it, I'll at least try and dodge that. Jeez, <laughs> it's beautifully done. Much clearer done this time. At least now you know it's M.O. Yeah, bitch. Kind of grab me. Yes, it's making the grabby hands. It's reaching. It takes a wonky, like, backwards forward step. Oh, I like you're going the wrong way to move in this direction. Don't do that. <laughs> the heel should not be pointing towards me. It's weird because it's it like it's like it steps forward. It picks up the heel and puts it way out behind it and kind of eases back onto that one. Takes a couple swipes. Just this time doesn't manage to get any purchase at all. Oh God, is it my turn again? It is your turn again. <laughs> Kill it quickly, please. <laughs> A murder it. <laughs> Aha! Murder. Ah, you seem to have rolled some murder. Yes, and I will roll some more murder. One, two, three, four. Four murder. Four murder. It sucks two. So that's six, seven, eight. All right. It's still alive. No. It's still in life. You have from... wrecked it up pretty bad, though, and some of the arms are limp now. Yes. I'll spend another rage. My last rage. It just wants a hug, friend. Go away. It just wants to touch you. Don't any over oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What's that, five? Six? That's like seven. Seven? Seven? What? <laughs> 
Go on. I'm probably not going to dodge. Well, I, don't I mean, you take... can take some successes I, off. I don't want to. I don't want to take seven extra, like or six extra dice, or whatever he's going to do afterwards. It gonna give you a little squeezy squeeze. I want to be squeezed. You don't want to be squeezed. Oh. But the best kind of hugs are squeezy hugs. Take three off. Take Fuck three you. Three off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minus one is six. Minus three is three. So it's gonna get. Gonna give you a squeeze. It gives you three bashing worth of squeeze. Let's soak. Yeah, please. Please soak. It's bashing, buddy. You got this. <laughs> Jane is not good at the soak. Soaks two of it. That's okay. You take one. New initiative round. You you regen off the one bashing. Aha! Automatic <laughs> automatic bashing. Yes. Ah, and you just gave me a free rage. Thank you. Yes, yes, I did. A die. Uh, now you must shake it off. Oh, yes. All right. That's strength, isn't it? That is strength. On the bright side, you're in Trinos. <laughs> Aha! Strength brawl? Yes. Or just strength? Strength, strength brawl. brawl. Aha! Do three. it to it. That's three. See how it's doing. Does it maintain the hold? One, two, three, four, five. Shit. It does. I'm gonna give you rage. another squaz. Spending rage. You may spend a rage. On the bright side, it's not initiating, so it does not have nearly as much squaz to throw at you. <laughs> There's one bashing that you miss. Okay. Up. So I cannot dodge this squeeze, though. Nope. Soaked it. You have soaked it, but you can try again to wiggle out. Yes, I can wiggle out on rage. You can. Wiggle! Oh, that's, that's a pretty good wiggle. Four. The wiggle. Oh, Jesus. It really wants to keep squozing. Is that... That's five, isn't it? Fuck! One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yes, yes. Damn it. One it's success. Okay. Could have beat it. You have another action. It is the top of initiative. <laughs> I gotta get out. Actually, that's not enough dice. Let me roll two more on top of that. That's not fair. There we go. All right. It's two. Didn't, didn't fucking help. <laughs> it helped a little. Oh, it did help. Yeah, sorry. We got eight. It helped a wee bit. Um, hilariously, it only got one. Yes. So you finally wiggle out. It is not pleased with you. Uh, I don't have rage to spend, so it's its turn again. <laughs> it, uh, it... That is okay. So you, you wiggle out on your initiative turn, and it, you know, gets agitated and makes another horrible voiceless kind of rush of air. And one of the hands reaches down to the body. It starts wriggling out one of those weird there, not there spines on it. Like, I'm just going to use this. <laughs> Literally wrenches one of those odd crystals out of its body and begins to uh, essentially transition it into holding it like a knife. Downside is it it'll, it takes it a minute to just chunk that out. So it is that. now armed, but it is your turn. <laughs> Even better, I die. <laughs> and die. Three, so that makes that seven, nine, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Die. I. It can't survive that. Narrate away, good sir. <laughs> so as as it you know, wrenches out one of those crystals, change kind of looks like. Huh. Crystals. And effectively, just out of brute strength, it's it's one swipe across the abdomen that kind of pins it down as with its own hand kind of grapples onto it, reverses the grip, as forces the, the spike crystal through the rest of the crystals in its chest and just kicks it back over. 
and it begins to, I imagine it just begins to squirm and kind of writhe on the ground until eventually just dissipates. It, it The best part is when you kick it, you kick the one crystal even deeper into there, you hear shattering noises. And yeah, the, the crystals start breaking and shattering. It gives, it, it, you know, the death throws are, yeah. That spine is a lot more fluid than it should be, and the rib cage doesn't really seem to be a factor in this creature. So it's, it does things and kind of flops around like a really fucked up octopus. But it does eventually uh, lie still and begin to kind of, not just puff, but kind of grossly start devolving or start uh, dissolving slowly. <laughs> just quickly step over that. <clears throat> And we'll just take a little step over that. Yeah, there'll be a second where she's checking around, though. Is it actually clear? Mm. Is that a, is that the only one? For the moment, it seems to be clear. You take a glance into the hole. Looks all right. <laughs> Didn't wake anything up doing that. All right, that's that's cool. I like that. I like these things that don't scream. Ideal, really. <laughs> Aha. Yeah, that's sure. After reassuring herself that the, uh, this, this place is clear, she will uh, carry on her merry way towards Patricia's room. Oh, boy. So you go down the creepy hallway, and you sneak a glance into the creepy room. And looking in, at least for the moment, it looks, I mean, okay. Let's see if I've got a better one for this. Why is everything fighting me right now? I guess all of these are fairly small, so that'll just have to do. Yeah, you look in and it's like, oh, lovely. The window has, like, bars going up it. The room is a little wider than that, but not much. There is a little sink. Alas, there does not seem to be a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there's that. There's one, like, kind of catty corner hospital bed. Much like the ones you walked past in the other room. But uh, for the moment, it seems to be fairly clear. Yeah, no, fuck it. She's just going to go inside. You, in fact, can. They're uh, not electronic locks. You can just kind of... It's It takes a little bit of a wiggle to represent it being locked on the other side. But you give the, the handle a good jostle-jostle and you can finally like convince it that it is supposed to be opening. Yeah, she'll uh, kind of step in, check behind the door where she can't see, check the, check the ceiling, just kind of check the four walls that she could properly see for anything. Would you like to run an investigation? Yes. Do it. Perception, investigation, man. Two at six. All right. So you, you slide in, you glance behind the door, you make sure it's kind of clear, and then you get to look in properly. And what finally catches your attention is, like, everything's kind of got rusty bits, and everything's kind of got corroded bits, and bleh. But you come over and you creep around, maybe even look under the bed, and you realize that on the um, the frame on either side are, like, kind of four just spaced like lines around the bars curling around them and then another shorter line kind of going up the bar for just a moment as if someone gripped it with their thumbs on top of the bar right up at about uh right up at about chest level 
Hmm. You so know what, what we need right now? We need this. What do we need? We need... Um... Yeah, we definitely need this on loop. We need that. <laughs> it's my favy fave. But yeah, it's one of those things where you come in and it looks pretty, I mean, standard for your vision. But the, those lines of corrosion are... They stand out, if only because it's consistent on both sides and the lines at the edges are kind of clean compared to the more kind of spatterings of anything else, of stains, of aging. So it looks so, just so I understand, it looks like somebody's been gripped onto this bed, correct? It looks as though someone was like, if you were up on the bed. Yeah facing the head of it and you grabbed around either side of the frame and had like your thumb laying along the top of the bar and your fingers curling around it. Almost as if someone was like holding on above it like facing yeah. down holding onto the bar staring yeah. downwards. Yeah almost. Hmm. <laughs> How what a kawinky dink. I know right. Hey Tom while you're in there want to roll me an alertness? Yes. I have extra dice in this now. That is three. <laughs> Roll your perception crow. <laughs> so you roll your perception crow. You get three successes. You're hearing movement out in the hallway. Now, with that, so, from my understanding, is it like a slat in the door that you see through, or is it like a full window? It's like a smallish, a smallish window. It's not quite down to slat sized, but there's a small like view window. Yeah, so it's, it's, like, it's like iPad size kind of window. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, knowing from looking in, how much. Like, can I hide on the 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 wall that is the, the the doors on to avoid the line of sight coming through? Uh you could just duck down under the window, uh, and hope someone isn't tall enough to get a really really freakish angle. You could duck under the bed, but it's designed so that it's not too easy to hide from the window just by the layout, which yeah. kind of defeat the purpose of it. But yeah, you could either duck behind or even slither under the bed if you wanted to revert to breed. Yep, she will do exactly that. Revert to breed. Yes, because I do have one rage in case I need it. And she will duck under the bed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually. actually. Mm-hmm. Can I roll to shift to lupus? You can. Absolutely. Because lupus Stand is technically smaller. Large. Technically it's smaller. Oh yeah. So I would I will do that. And with while I'm in Kratos, I have three extra stamina die. Yeah. Very useful for doing this. Ah. Uh, One, two, three, yep. You can absolutely do it. You needed yep. uh, two successes at Div 6 to do it. Oh, then she she reverts the lupus and ducks right very easily underneath that bed. Oh, yeah. You slip up underneath, tuck your tail in behind you, make sure you're in there. Would you like to stealth? Yes. I would to roll it. Mm, yes. <laughs> Good thing is, I get two extra dice now. <laughs> Uh, yes, please uh, roll your dex crow. Not that. No. Lupus, yo. Oh, yep. <laughs> I thought. Your smart. lupus stealth? 
Yes. Uh, math is difficult in the morning. Uh, that it's many okay. guys. Fucking ones. I mean, you're also under the bed. This is just to get you extra. <clears throat> but that is that is one whole success. Very consistent today. Actually, I gotta check one thing real quick. Go ahead. Uh. Uh, I got it before. All right, never mind. It's fine. I can still do that if it comes to it. Don't worry about it. I had, to, right. have it. I had to have done it before that roll. That's fine. Oh, are you gonna like blur or something? <laughs> Pray mind. <laughs> I totally have that gift. All right, buddy. So you slip under the bed. Let's see if I can find a good... You know what? We're gonna... Have us some funsies. So, even under the bed... You, you tuck under there and you're looking out from under and listening keenly because you don't want to, you know, poke your nose out and be as seen as whatever it is you're looking at. But you can practically just kind of feel the weight of something's attention. It's, you know what, give me, you know what, it's not, I'm not even going to make you roll. Essentially, primal urge wise. The all the your hackles start to kind of poke up. You can't help it. There's just that weird pressure in the air as if something is looking and staring directly at you. Yeah. <clears throat> the clench factor is real. And you know, that sense kind of intensifies for a moment. Intensifies. And then abruptly fades as you hear the doorknob click. You'll see feet from your uh, your tucked vantage point. You'll see feet, and it's it's funny because it's almost like that kind of sleek business shoe shape but there's not all the lines and the textures and like it's not actually shoes it's almost as if that is just simply how the foot is shaped it's the impression it gives kind of business like authoritative and you see the feet start walking in a fairly normal seeming stride and it walks over to the bed and it, for a moment stops there just standing you can see these two feet right there like a foot away from your muzzle you gonna do anything buddy not yet it's gonna wait It's a prolonged moment. And it's kind of an oily, inky black, the texture of this. Actually, if anything, saying an oily black, it's almost kind of like when you see people dressed in, like, vinyl. It's very sleek. It's very kind of reflective. You almost get a fluid sense from it, but it's not like you're going to reach out and touch to check, right?
And finally, you see as one hand comes down. One of the feet comes up. And sure enough, after a moment, you see um, long needle-like fingers come down on either side of the bed frame, wrapping around it. As there's, you know, this unholy creaking noise as it eases up onto the bed. All right. This is where the fun begins. Katie. Mm -hmm. As soon as the feet have disappeared and both set of fingers from like either side so like where Jane's lying down in front of her and behind her can be seen. You know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna roll stamina primal urge to shift to Krinos and slam the bed against the ceiling. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna <laughs> save this image real fast. Don't mind me. <laughs> Oh, first, boy. Can I do that, first of all? You can. That is a thing that you can do. Let me take all a right. quick glance at your shenanigans. Huh. Trying to decide if that... I forgot you had lack of scent. You clever girl. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give you a how about a Perception occult seems good. All right. Uh, because you have a hot minute of staring at this these feet. All right. I can do that. Perception occult. It's a solid four. <laughs> nope. Because fuck me ones, right? Hmm. So not that. Then at the very least, let's let's try one more tactic as I give you a wits check. Let's check them uh you know what wits uh yeah, wits. Just wits, because there's yeah. there's three at six for wits. That is perfect. The thing about it being the wits check that gets you is it's not something you can put your finger on and you can, this is the equivalent of, are you sure? The one thing that I think kind of stands out to Jane is that every spirit, even Bane's has a purpose, pursues the purpose, always pursues the purpose. This thing didn't come in and just robotically get up and go to do its work. It stopped for like a solid fiver and just stood there. You can still do the thing. It's more that if nothing else, especially considering how much Jane's been doing with spirits lately, that 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 will be the one thing that kind of breaks pattern and could be an indicator of potential issue is that it doesn't just come in and serve its purpose. It's almost like it considers something debates or is waiting for something very particular and then goes up to do the thing. Hmm. It's an anomaly at the very least.
Hmm. You see, there is now conflict because Tom, Tom is insane. He's more than happy to dive face first into anything and throw it at him. <laughs> but I don't want my character to die. <laughs> I, I promise you that doing this is not necessarily an immediate death warrant. No. And that's how much I'm weighing up. <laughs> I'm trying to think of ways I can get a free shot at this thing <laughs> that are very reasonable and don't sound as stupid as I think they do. I mean, the the whole bed move is is a pretty fucking like nothing's gonna see that coming. I'll give you that. No, oh, fuck it. I'm ballsy. Let's do it. Okay. Yep, you can do it. Um, give me a stealth roll because this will technically be an ambush. <laughs> right. In like a comically technical way, this will be an ambush. I'm in lupus. I get two extra dice. Yep. Oh, that is three successes. All right, give me one moment. Oh, bless this terrible sight. All right, that's how many? Three. All right, strength plus your rollover. Try no strength plus your rollover. Um, actually, I guess... Uh, if you're gonna let, let's first do the premolurge check to make sure you hit Krynos. Krynos is diff. It's diff six. six. You'd need two successes on your strength premolurge. Stamina premolurge. Stamina premolurge. Pardon. A two, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Can I spend willpower or not? Uh, I'll let you. <laughs> I'm spending willpower because this is hilarious to me. Okay. That's Ooh. more than enough. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Strength plus rollover. So, it's real fucking knows. quick. So, rollover from what, exactly? From your uh, from your your initial roll there. Dex. All right. The strength is three plus four, seven. <laughs> strength plus, uh, plus the three rollover from your roll. Plus three. That's <laughs> ten. Yeah. Do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. Surprise. Oh fucking boy. All right. Let's roll its stamina. <laughs> Oh boy, let me double check a thing. All right. Holy shit. Holy so one, shit. two, three, four, five, six, seven. And somehow. It gets Satan's luck and soaks five of that. <clears throat> but it takes two colliding with the fucking ceiling. <laughs> this thing is not mute. And lets out a shriek of not fear or pain so much as sheer rage. It's furious. And we will do initiative for the sake of making sure we're kosher. All right. This is where your flaw stack and things become really, really entertaining. All right. So this is... Aha! Jane's initiative. That's, that's a good roll. But hopefully... I got a lovely... Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> Fuck. A 
I want to guess it goes first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me just a moment. Oh, let's have some fun. So you slam this bed up against the ceiling, which kind of cracks and crumples. This thing will uh, will take it surprisingly well. Let's uh, let's just grab that, shall we? Surprisingly well. Yep, we're going to use this one. I like this. And comes crashing back down. But oh, it's not happy with you. <clears throat> I'm just... Glancing at some fun, fun things. Oh, that looks beautiful. Not that. Pardon as I'm scrolling through because I did not intend or plan for this to go this way. You are ballsy as shit. Yes. I wasn't ready. Yes, I am. Oh, that's what I want. All right, so this person is going to roll this. Spend a Gnosis point and roll this at diff seven. Let's see. Uh, Was one success. So as this gift flares off, Tom, this horrific kind of eerie 
vinyl looking figure who is about we'll say about the size of your average like kind of glabro so a, a little bigger than normal human sized but not enormous big enough to mm. be imposing seems to grow bigger seems to take on more you know in this shapeless face seems to take a more malicious angles to it muscles bulge in a particular way the posture changes basically it becomes inherently <sighs> becomes a lot more intimidating becomes looming becomes just kind of terrifying so basically, if you would like to do anything to oppose it, you will have to make a willpower check. Uh, it's diff eight. And... And you have to score more successes, so you'd have to get at least two successes. If, barring that, if you fail that, and you still want to act, you may spend a point of willpower to actively try to verbally assault, physically assault, etc. It's basically something about this just became so terrifying that it takes a lot of willpower to even want to make a go at it. Totally. But yeah, essentially you get spooked. <laughs> Is and it's done? It's done. That is its action. And since it's spent a gnosis, it will not spend rage. <laughs> I'm taking my free action, all right? <laughs> I'll roll will pop. Okay. Because I have to. Current or perm? Uh, when you're rolling, it's current. Perm is for, like, usually for targeting. All right. That's <laughs> three successes. Diff all eight. right. Hey, buddy, want to meet my claws? I'm going to claw it. It's cool, right? I can do that? Oh, yeah. You absolutely can. All right. Just double checking because I don't know. <laughs> you absolutely can. He spends That's... two rage, by the way. Oh no, he, he can, doesn't spend rage. I was Sorry. Say, he can, I, the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because he didn't yep, spend rage. <laughs> he did not. He did not. I apologize. That was Wonderful. my B. So that is two successes. So in theory, even if because I am spending one rage, I have an action above him. So I'm getting this free hit in now. <laughs> Fuck. Might not be the best werewolf player, but I know stats. You are. You do, in fact. <laughs> you essentially get a free shot. I'm taking it. Fuck it. Uh, and that's strength plus two for claws plus two. It's a hefty amount of dice, which is one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I coming through. All right. Tealed off that. One, two, three. So he takes three egg. And you you lash out and you claw. And oh he takes it. He rears up as he takes it, but yeah, you can absolutely reach out. Uh is there a particular way you'd like to do it artistically? Not especially. It's it's more the the whole, yeah, because it is. It's horrifying. It's intimidating. It's almost like a reaction, just uh, probably that bravado nature peeling through again. Just, I don't like the thing in front of me. Duh! Hit it and <laughs> just swing swat. the claw. Yeah, you you take a quick swat. I assume you're planning to turn and flee on the rage action. Until people see. <laughs> oh, yeah. You reach out and just re reactively swat and leave claw furrows in the. The, the odd kind of oily surface of it, it does bleed. And snarl.
but if anything, it draws itself up that much larger. Like, oh, oh, you know, you you had my my curiosity, but now, now you have my fucking attention. Captain Needlefingers is ready. <laughs> draws himself up. Looks like he is. His response is essentially, oh, I'm going to fucking rip you to shreds. <laughs> I bet you all. As. I will. Checking my shit. Oh, am I feeling extra ballsy? You know what? Mm. All right. Think, 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 think. Technically, yes. Yes, I, you know what? I am. I'm feeling extra ballsy. I'm going to hit him. Hold the wall power. Is it per turn or per action? It doesn't really specify in a good way. I'm going to have to look up. Oh, no, that is the 20th anniversary edition. It doesn't really special or specify. So what do you want it to be? Is it turn or action, Katie? I'm assuming it's action. I've never seen one that's just per turn when it comes to things like staving off assault, etc. All right. So you want me to roll it again? Yes. All right. I should roll it again because this will certainly change the outcome of what happens <laughs> if, if she's too scared to do it. Nope. Nope. Holy Jane, balls. Jane ain't a, it's cool headed. This, this wit specialty is finally doing work for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you think I'm insane, but I have a plan, and you're right, and you're still correct. I'm gonna hit him again. One success, all I need, but it'll work, and that'll be just a flat nine coming through with one, two, three, four ag. All right. That is one. Takes three. Takes three. It's rough. It's still there. But I ain't doing so good. Oh, it's definitely looking rough. That's fine. That's his go. Uh, I just hope That's... I understood what I read properly. <laughs> if not, this may be disastrous, but oh well. All right. Your willpower is clearly. Where'd we go? Five? Uh, five current, yes. Yes. So he. is going to snarl and point. And say. Submit and roll some dice. You may spend a point of gnosis to resist the effect. Otherwise, you will be driven to your knees. It's 
So just so I'm clear. Essentially, he's using Neil. I, that, I, I, the gift, fair enough. But just so I'm clear on what it's going to cost me. If I spend the gnosis to resist, do I still get to act on my turn or not? Oh, yes. I do. You uh, will not be able to spend rage this turn, however, because you will have spent a point of gnosis. That is fine. And I will spend said gnosis and say, fuck you. How about no? All right, yeah, you can spend a point of gnosis. You basically feel a lot of force pressing you down, wrenching you, trying to pull you to your knees. And, uh, yeah, you can spend a point of gnosis to resist the gift's effects. And basically shrug it. And you will get your action. He will... He did not spend Gnosis this turn, so he will spend the Rage. Wonderful. And now as you spend Rage, I will do this wonderful thing called GTFO. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> nick, 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 nick. Enjoy that six tag, bitches. This day is going to fucking run. <laughs> Here's an interesting question. Where are you going to run? Where am I going to run? Well, mm -hmm. as I do know, the door... Right, so I have to ask, was the click before he entered or after the door closed? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was just the click of the knob turning. It wasn't mm -hmm. like a, a locking click. Well, as you know, quite well know, Katie, there are two exits to this room. There are. I could make a third. You, you, you could. And hilariously, I've, I've been wondering if you would do a thing because you have a thing, and it would be really, really entertaining if that's what you had to use it for. <laughs> I have a thing. You have a thing. Are you referring to the fetish that I have? I am. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to say I was thinking about it, but I was thinking about it. <laughs> so what are you going to do, Jane? You need to get the hell out, and you don't know how fast it is, but you know you don't have spare rage to blow. I will tell you my grand scheme of my... <laughs> so I had two, two, two ideas that I had for this. Okay. So this is, this is plan B. Plan B. <laughs> Say, <Is that> Katie. <laughs> How many dice does glass have to soak to no, stop a Krynos? <laughs> I'm pretty sure doing it in Krynos, you might take like one lethal. <laughs> it's usually the fall that's the problem. Yeah, that's what the look dice is for. <laughs> yep. Or absorbing the single blow, if I remember correctly. Yep. Still kind of <laughs> takes it. So <laughs> it's just that kind of look. There's that second, that half a second ago. Because uh, which four? Yeah, you know, Jane is a very quick thinker. It's that the eyes dart towards the window, dart towards this thing as it's rearing upwards, clearly getting more menacing by the second, and she just snarls at its face and dives out the window. <laughs> well, let's face it, if you went took the other route out, it could chase you. Exactly. Does it really want to throw itself out a window, especially as damaged as it is? Oh yeah, you can do it. <laughs> You can absolutely, and since you're in Krynos, even the uh, the echo of bars isn't going to fucking stop you. Nope. Though that is a memory of bars. Nope. You <laughs> sail out the fucking window like a psycho, because it is your turn and he can't stop you. <laughs> and in the free fall, I'm guessing because I have to spend Gnosis, right? Or do I not? Is it just is it passive? I'm, I'm, it? I'm, I've decided the necklace is essentially passive. Even better. So, I will give you the opportunity 
to soak this damage. <laughs> if it would kill you, the necklace, the necklace. will take it for you. <laughs> That's even better. The chance, like, the chance I can keep it, I'll take it. <laughs> yep. Basically, yep. it's it's reserved for a killing blow. If that killing blow is you hitting the pavement, so be it. Um, I believe that if I remember all of the running jokes right, the most damage you can take from falling is like 10 dice. Like once you hit terminal velocity, you've hit terminal velocity, and that's just yes. the way it is. So we're going to roll you 10 dice of damage, and we're going to see if you can take it. It's even better that I didn't take any damage, so... Yeah, ha- you I might a- actually be able to do this. I have, a, I have a nice buffer of at least six. You do. It's not that's that one, that's not two, an awful lot of mount three, either. Three, four, five. So you'd have to soak five. I mean, I still live. I keep the necklace. That's end of. Uh, yep. So it's it's whether or not do I have a broken leg at the bottom or not. Yep. <laughs> Luckily, soaking is what Jane is worst at. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Krynos, That helps. It helps a bit. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's three <laughs> dice of help. It's four. You take one point of lethal. Your joints do things. You literally plunge out of. Let's let's have a moment here together, Tom, where we look at this fucking building that you just leapt out of like a freak. You leapt off of one of the top floors of this building, <laughs> and you hit the pavement and you fucking Superman land it with the kind of Hoo! but that's it werewolves are broken but you land the pavement doesn't appreciate it it cracks and buckles on the hilarious side you're in the umbra so nobody sees shit <laughs> so on the other side it's just crickets it really is. On the other side, nothing. You literally get a free pass to do something psychotic that would normally attract a lot of attention. You fucking stick the landing, taking like one point of lethal. You're not even stunned. <laughs> and she, she's going to look back up. Is he looking out the window? No. Actually? Yes, yes he is. He's just got those needle fingers wrapped along the bottom of it. And is standing there and watching. Watching very keenly. It's to take great interest. Now the question is, Katie, is the bike still there? Does You know what? It... Holy shit, it's on this side too. Yeah, it's on this side too. Yeah, you can belt it into the parking lot. And I mean, I wouldn't suggest riding it in Krynos, but but yes, your bike will be there. And it's not even that. It's just it's, there's a bit of a run where she clears the building. And it's that, that moment of cool girls don't look at explosions kind of thing. As she just starts to relax down with her back towards him, gets on the bike, and just starts revving it up. He watches. Watches the entire thing. But you know what? Do you look back? Nope. Oh. Okay, buddy. You know what? There's one reason she doesn't look back. As far as she's concerned, her back is towards the hospital. You might recognize her a little bit. You can recognize her face a whole lot more. I mean, let's look at your face for a minute here and appreciate how ridiculous that is. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Even Admittedly, better. Admittedly... Admittedly, with that spirit heritage, even a glimpse of you in the Umbra will be enough to be telling. Ah, in the Umbra. That, 
that's the point. Is Jane recognisable between Ombro Jane and a regular Jane, or is it too much distortion? I'm going to say it would take a fucking check at pretty it, high diff. It, it'd take a bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, it, it'd take a real good look. And let's be honest, he... He's quite far you away. In Krynos, and you are really far away. Oh, fuck it. She'll look back then. He's still at the window. You see him gathering up something something in his hand. It's hard to tell from there. It almost looks as it he holds it up and then flings it out into the air. Almost looks bat-like. Can I see what it is? Like, like as, as a dot? Like, you know when you can see things moving in the air? Like, uh, Fleetingly, but it's dark out. And that little speck of darkness is going to get lost in the dark real fast. Yep. So she is. She's not go. She's not going back to anywhere that is the bar or the the manor. Where are you gonna go, buddy? As you take off on your bike. I mean, Jane knows where the safe houses are, right? Um, the safe houses, such as they are, Bill has a girl staying in his Roanoke place. Mm hmm What other safe houses have you guys secured? Because there's, well, there's not a safe house, but there is that. There's the place that Anton's using as well in the woods. Oh, yeah, there's the place where you've got the other two girls, yeah. Oh, are they there? Actually, no, I imagine by now they would have moved to the bar. So the, the Airbnb you guys have been using? Yeah. I, you could hope it's still free. If not, I mean, what are the chances they've rented it out to someone else yet? Yeah, no. she'll, uh, she'll go there. Fuck it. Yeah, that works. You can take the fuck off on your bike. Yeah. It's funny because the bike... You've continued to take Sterling care of, with it, so it seems to understand the urgency. And, I mean, you barely have to touch this thing throttle-wise. You find it almost easier to steer right now than it normally is. Huh. Essentially, your drive diff is reduced. Because it's awake and working with you. So yeah, the thing drives like a fucking dream. And, uh, and yeah, you can take it all the way out of Roanoke. You know, up the fucking highway. A bit past um, Natural Bridge and to the B&B. Or Airbnb. And when she's there, because Jane being Jane, uh, oh, it doesn't work. You know what? It does work like that because I can do this technically. Mm -hmm. I think. I think. So she would have a Kevlar vest because she would not. She's not a hypocrite. It's not on her, but it's with her. It's a, <laughs> I, I imagine it'll be on the bike. Is, so I don't know this, so I'm going to ask: Is there a way that you can break something open without effectively using the spirit inside of it? Um, what are you trying to do? Because so Jane's paranoid, all right. That mm -hmm. guy threw something into the air. First thing she's going to think it's following her. First okay. thing. Because she does it all the time. So if, if she could do it, something else could do it. Mm -hmm. Plan is, they have darkness spirits in them. Darkness spirits are very good at hiding. That thing can hide me. All right. Until you I... can 
break it open, it would essentially be expended because you're using the spirit for something else, but you wouldn't necessarily have to pay it. You can opt to just yeah, well, free that, it. That, yeah, that's what it is. She'll have to make another one, but mm -hmm. that is the idea. And then, so it goes to the safe house, break it open, get the cover, because she knows she's hard to track anyway, try and lose it in the trees. So basically, she's parking up at the Airbnb, getting the extra cover, and then breaking off into the woods? Basically. Until she's very fucking sure she ain't being followed. Alright, are you going to continue to use the bike? Or are you uh, leaving it there? You know what? She would leave it there because she knows it's a safe place. For now, because bike makes noise, right? It does. Hmm. Hmm. Gonna lose my fucking bike. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck it, she'll take it with her. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, you released the the darkness spirit inside the vest. Um, thankfully, you have a pretty good standing setup with them. It will not be hard for you to basically free it from its prior contract and forge a new one. And what you can do is essentially either just crank your stealth effectively, or it can do things like, uh, like muffle the sound. Oh, it can do that? Yes. Oh, that, that'll work. Yeah, it can, if nothing else, it, you can just use it to muffle the noise. And at that point, you can, for however long, move freely without making noise. Yep. At that point, you could do something like, all things considered, logically, you could just cross over. But you could at least get out of sight, hit the mirror, and cross over. Yep, that's the plan. Well, almost the plan. One more step in between that. Mm -hmm. Crow spirit upwards. Is there anything above me? Do what, what, what? Get a crow spirit, one of her lovely friends. If this thing's following her, it's going to be following her in the air. Because it went up. She knows it went up and then she lost it. So if the crow goes upwards and he just has a quick circle around, do anything above me? No? All right, crossing. All right, let's check your... Because I know there's a lot of shit going on. Uh, I don't know explain it very quickly, but it is ten to ten. <laughs> you're you're just fine. Um each of the people within the house. So that does include you. Yes, yes it does. I wanted to make sure that you hadn't specified everyone else. Because nope. then you would not have a crow spirit right there on nope. the end. Aha, uh -huh. you see. Sometimes Jane's got to send out emergencies. Smart girl. Yeah, you can uh, ask the crow spirit to head up and look for you. Ironically, it rolls its perception crow. <laughs> and let's see, you've done... A number of things. So the crow will uh, will get up into the air, and I mean, it may be a daytime bird, but it's a crow. This is literally its shit.
it will take a good wing around, essentially a little a little search circle. And then we'll come back down to land on your shoulder, preening at your your wispy wispy hair and saying No. No, there is nothing. No. She'll nod. Uh, give it give it the little scratches on the top of the head. Because, yes, good crow. Good. Makes croaky, croaky noises. Yeah, and then she'll push the bike a little bit and then uh, using the mirror of the bike, cross on over. You can do that. Would you like me to roll for that or? It just depends on whether you want to take the time or try to do it faster by rolling. Well, doing it faster will help me to lose it if it is trying to follow me even better. Yes. So I will attempt to roll. With current gnosis. Yes. That's three successes. You snap over it pretty fucking quick like. Yeah, actually, really quick, like. Well, then, you have successfully made it to the Tellurian. Now, what will you do? And with that. Jane is going to make her way back to the bar. Back to the bar? Uh, no. 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 Uh. Nah, fuck it. She'll just go back to the manor. Because she has protection set up. She does indeed. That will... Layers of them, really. <laughs> Lots of protection. Yeah. Hopefully it's not even getting this far, but yep, she's she's just going to go back. Very panicked and paranoid. All right. Is there anything else you would like to do for this scene? No. Well, all right, buddy. You put your vest dutifully in the used vest bin. Yes. <laughs> As an example of what you should be doing. Oh my goodness. But here, yeah, in the safety of home, wrought with panic, we will call this a scene. <laughs> And say thank you, player, for playing and watchers for watching. We'll see you next time on the further adventures of Jane. <laughs> <laughs>